Got a, ooh, okay. Ooh, IS-6, guys! Don't be four or five here. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Fly here. Welcome back to the channel. So, do you guys hear that? Do you guys hear that? If you don't, it's rejoicing. Oh, and do you guys hear that? Do you hear that? Those are tears. So, if you're not following, the M46 drivers are cheering and the IS6 drivers are crying. You might ask why. Well, because someone or a new tank at 6.7 can easily kill it from the front now. The M46 now, the premium and non-premium now have a heat fin stabilized round capable of penetrating 305 millimeters of armor at any distance at 90 degrees. Now, just for the record, I haven't versed the IS-6 and the M46. Last time I played this for a video was maybe about two months ago. And I wouldn't say at that point the M46 was a bad tank. It was just a hard tank to play. In certain situations, in certain maps, it was a joy to use because you have very good mobility, a very strong, I would say, post-penetrating or, yeah, very strong post penetrating round. So if we if we did penetrate with the M46 M82 shot right here, this was perfect. Um, so it was only, but it was only certain situations to where you could have gotten into that position to use it efficiently. And I couldn't imagine using this thing against an IS6 from the front. I mean, even though this APCR has a ton of penetration. You know, that IS-6 mantlet is just the trolliest shit ever. Have they even explained how that fucking mantlet worked? Is there, like, uh, ceramic or, like, black hole armor in there? I have no... I mean, like, that optic is like a black hole almost. But now, the M46 is able to deal with the IS-6 from the front. No problem at all. And that brings me on to my next topic. Uh, do you guys feel like the more times they add heat fin stabilize into the game or give a tank a capability of heat fin stabilize, do you think it's degrading War Thunder into like glorified go karts with rotating guns? I mean, honestly, it feels like I'm driving a pickup truck with a rotating recoilless rifle sometimes. Let me know what you guys think because um, it's just, I don't know, this has been going on for a long time. Maybe this is how a lot of the players wanted the game to be. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Personally, I would like to see a restructure of tanks and um, heat fin stabilized to make the game more rewarding for players who use their armor. Because that, that you know, armor should be a part of a tank game, in my opinion. It really should be. Uh, but with heat fin stabilized, it's a really strong round and it won't make, uh, players can't use armor against it. Well, sometimes they can, but 92% of the time, they can't. That's a that's a fact. But yeah, a restructure of tanks and balancing and maybe the addition of ERA. And I, I know explosive reactive armor is up there, but then heat fin stabilized, in my opinion, should be up there. I think that in a video game, there should always be counters to things. So you make the players think and you make the players have challenges and you make the gameplay rewarding. So... There's my little spiel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Without further ado, guys, let's go, uh, let's go try this bad girl out. Ooh, boys, oh boys, welcome to our den. I've never played this conquest number two on here. Looks fan flipping task. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be heading over here to this side and then just camping around this building here. So we get a nice look into a little bit of the city and a nice look into uh, their reinforcement route or spawn <laughs> okay getting into position right side looks clear oh they got a big hill here that oh god yikes okay so i shot his ammo straight up first it, it did hit him first and then he shot he didn't shoot ammo all right good start Welcome back to the jungle. We're gonna just forget about 
what happened last time around. I'll tell you right now, if we had our M82 shot loaded up first, woo, baby, that ASU-85 would have been toast. But, uh, you know, the ASU-85 really isn't that fun of a tank to play, so I'm glad that he got his fix out of it. But we are versing the Russians and the Germans, so this is going to be interesting. I could sit here and play it safe, but not fun. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's move, let's move M46. Let's go. Get that 40 plus going on. 42. We got a good amount of teammates on our left side, so that should be covered. And here comes some of the first enemies of the game on our right side. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna call artillery in right here. And I'm gonna load up the M82 shot for the second shot of the game, just because we're gonna be engaging people from the sides here. Big game too, big game. Okay, we're here first. Got an enemy right here. He sees me, we're gonna back up. I'm gonna change my round off for the M82 shot for this guy over here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Reload, reload, reload. They got into a defilade, unfortunately. Here we go, here's our shot chance. Good, pull him back. It's risky, I know, it's a risky, risky gameplay. But it is fun as hell. Okay, so that tiger, let's just go check that tiger out right now. Make sure that he's not trying to come up here. He's still stationary there. Now this is a P, right? This is a Porsche. It is, okay. If that turret gets turned anymore, I'm gonna push out. Let's see, let's see. Let's try it. I love the M82 shot so much. I love it. I love it. I love it. But no, uh, no IS6s yet, unfortunately. But okay, so we've cleared out the right side pretty good. Ooh, uh, I'm hearing someone shift near me. Have I have I told you guys that I love the M82 shot a lot? Ooh, shit, plane, plane. Friendly, good, good, good. Okay, we're gonna go check out the middle of the map now. Yeah, they are capturing A here. Our right side should be clear. Hopefully that tiger over by B is really dead because that would not be good because we are completely exposing our backside. Capturing, oh shit, IS-6, IS-6. Way far away, way far away, way far away, way far away. Okay, changing rounds out. I don't know that range. I think we have our range finder equipped. Jesus. Don't shoot me. It doesn't seem like 1,000. I, I think it kind of glitched over to the trees back there. I think it, it feels like a 900 meter shot. Like right about here. Whoop. Don't look at him. Don't look at me. Don't look at me with that big old gun. Don't look at me with it. His gunner's down. F8F just took him out. Huh. That's always a good thing when the IS-6 goes camping. They pretty much like defeat the purpose of their tank. But as you can see, our, our team is doing some really good work right now. We have control over A, B, and C. We could have an enemy in front of us, but it looks like the M46. Ooh, what was that? And we have the wrong round selected. And he should be able to get a shot on us. Yeah. Come on, someone save me. Bounce off my turret. Bounce off my turret. Oh my god, what is he doing? He hasn't shot my gunner yet. Oh my god, we're going to be able to reload faster than here.
Lol. I don't really see what his tank's doing. Okay, he's got an engine over there. Let's go for his gun breach. Almost got it. How how is he? What the fuck? Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Oh, that's game. Is that five kills? Oh, it didn't give me that last one. Come on. What was that tiger shooting at though? All he had to go through was 114 millimeters of armor. Because as you can see, there's no spall shield here. Now, he, he could have been aiming like a... Like, if he shot right here, he's going right through. Come on. Come on, M46. Come on, M46. Come on. Come on. Here we go, boys. Fuck yeah, we're here. We got a nice view on our backside. It looks decently clear. Let's assert our let's insert ourselves. Perfect. Hmm. I wonder if we can push back to the Ooh, someone's back here far. Uh, no sauce here. Let's just put a round of- oh. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh god, I'm dead. Artillery, kill them all! <laughs> I'm fucking alive still! Oh my god, I think I'm having a heart attack right now. I'm so fucking dead. I don't think anyone can see over here. M46! Do it! Yes! I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to let him have that kill, if possible. I'm gonna try to distract this guy. I had to get it, he was going into cover. Oh, what a fucking game. Okay, good, clear. Cleared, cleared, cleared. That was fucking awesome. Pull him back. Backside's good. We've got B and C. Let's check score here. Oh, wow. Their team is done. Done, done, done. I'm going to follow the super person in here. That was a game that I wanted right there. That demonstrated how well the M46 performs, at least getting to those really good positions early game, and then having the ability with the 90 millimeter gun just to devastate the enemy. That was awesome. Yak Panther, ME262 still up. Kugel Blitz is dead, and we gotta, I'm dead I think. Come on, gun, get on target. Uh, oh my God, how am I fucking bouncing? What the f, let's not block this guy. That's one downside of the M46, is it's, it doesn't have a stabilizer and pretty bouncy suspension because it has such good mobility. But a lot of tanks you verse don't have that. Oh, shit. Backside, backside, backside. We got a yes, good shit. Need to repair my gun breach. Need to tell this T29 where they are. 
24 seconds. They have only, looks like maybe four players left. I think one's in the sky with an ME-262 and the rest should be on the ground. Whoa, top. Nothing there for me to kill. He's dead now, going back to our little hidey hole, our little cover behind this scenery tank. So guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video with the M46. This tank is competitive now, but it's brainless too. <laughs> so before you had to use map knowledge and you had to plan out your attacks and uh, get into a good position. Now it's all negated from the heat fin stabilize. But as you saw today, heat fin stabilize doesn't always guarantee the kill. You got to aim for certain spots on the tank or in the tank to detonate the ammo. Just forget the first clip or the first game. Uh, but guys, I still highly suggest you bring that M82 shot because it's really going to come into play. Uh, you enter a tank almost anywhere and you hit something that's fiery, explosive, or fleshy, uh, you're going to one-shot the tank. But guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a good Friday. See you this weekend.